Hello and welcome to HDD Recovery Services Sessions and today's um, patient is this uh, 7200 500 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. Uh, they've been out of production for quite some time now. Uh, this drive was made in 2008 but they're still out there and we still get them every now and then. And uh, usually if they're not clicking and if they are spinning up uh, they just kind of stay busy and never come ready that's primarily the biggest issue that we, we we see happening to these drives here so I'm just gonna close up everything that I have on the screen here I need this and uh, jump straight to it so I have my enclosure I'm gonna plug this drive in to bay number one power it on the cable is attached, that's why the drive is spinning. It starts up, but we're not getting any you know, driver installation messages and uh, if we were to look in my computer, as you can see here, we only have three drives showing. Um, those, both of those drives are actually in uh, the machine. Those are the hard drives and that's the SSD that I use for the system. So, nothing there, uh, at least not yet. Okay, so we can turn this off. This cable here, I'm not even gonna touch it all the way through the video. So, we're gonna just connect this unit and we're gonna connect uh, the hard drive to our PC3000 station for diagnostics. Okay, for that we're going to need this attachment here, which will give us access and allow us to work with the terminal. There's a small jumper I forgot to remove. So we have this unit connected for channel number two. And right here, as you can see, the registry light only lights up green, indicating that it's in a busy state and it doesn't let us go further. It doesn't come ready. So if we're gonna select auto, detect for the drive it's just gonna take its precious time and never get there so we're gonna still force it to go into utility by selecting Seagate F3 architecture I'm gonna ignore reading passport and we know that this is 7200.11 Alright, so just up here, I'm going to turn it on and turn it back on. Alright, so this message came out, LED 000000CC, that's um, the message in the terminal um, telling us that the drive is in this problem. Uh, actually known as LED CC so we're gonna try and deal with it right now so in order to deal with it we'll need a couple of things we need something that can isolate the contact in this case, we're gonna use this uh, business card and terminal and PC3000 <laughs> utility for Seagate. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, 
Select OK. This is going to back up all of the um, modules before the process begins. I'm going to select the second man. Uh, second, there are two types of um, performing this uh, unlocks, so to speak. One with uh, shorting out the read channel, and another one is by isolating the spindle. We're going to go with the isolating the spindle route. I'm going to hit OK. So now it gives us the instructions of what to do um, and how to proceed about it. So this isolator is going to go in the right where the PCB contacts the spindle and we're going to start the process. asking us to reinitialize the connection between the terminal and the PC so we're just going to disconnect it and plug it back in hit OK and still has to remove the isolator and put the screw back in so we're gonna go hit OK on that The drive knife spins up and begins the backup of all of the uh, firmware that is on. Now the drive spins up, comes up as ready, gives us proper ID. We can exit the utility, close our PC3000, unplug this unit, and plug it into the docking station. on the docking station. And you can see we only have three drives here. This may take a little extra time, but I'm fairly confident the fourth one will come along. There we go. Alright, so show now showing us the message that it's installed the driver successfully there's a name for the uh, auto start and there's the drive with all of its contents I'm obviously not going to show you what the contents are because uh, this information is private but if you have a problem uh, with the 7200.11 hard drive that is spinning up that is not clicking uh, that is um, sounds basically like a normal drive but doesn't give you access to it I'm pretty confident that this solution will apply to you and if you need assistance feel free to contact us our information is on screen uh, that's how the problem is resolved